Hey Google, turn on the bar shelf lights. Sure, turning the bar shelf lights on. Hey Google, turn on the bar wall lights. You got it, turning on the bar wall lights. Hey Google, turn on the studio lights. Okay, turning the studio lights on. Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to connect your Google Home to your Insteon device so that you can control your lights with your voice. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Travis and I love to film videos of unboxing really cool things that I get for filmmaking and photography. I also film DIY projects that I do around the house, including assembling a lot of Ikea furniture. And if I'm gonna go somewhere cool, I'm definitely gonna bring my camera along and vlog about it. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you head down below and hit that subscribe button. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Google Home device to your Insteon lights so that you can control them with your voice. This is a pretty easy process. You're going to need to have your Google Home all set up. So if you haven't done that yet, make sure you set that bad boy up. So the first step is to open up the Google Home app. Now that you have your Google Home app opened up, you wanna click on the add button and you wanna click on a new device that works with Google. We're gonna scroll down and find Insteon on the list that pops up. Once you've found it, click on it. Now we're going to have to link our two accounts together. So make sure that you have your password ready. Put in your Insteon email address and password. Once this process is complete, the two accounts will link together and all of your lights will show up now in your Google Home app as well as your Insteon app. Now that you can see they're all in here, we want to group them together into rooms. So we're going to select the lights and then click add to room. Click on bar, in our case anyway, and you can see the devices were saved. Go ahead and do this for the rest of the devices in your home and add them to the rooms that are listed. If you want to add a custom room, you can scroll all the way to the bottom of the list and you will see add custom room. So in our case, we're going to name this playroom and then click on done and continue. Now we're going to add our devices to the playroom. So that is our thermostat and one light and click on next. So there you have it. All of your devices inside your Google Home app can now be voice controlled. Click on done. So now you can see all of the rooms are listed and the devices are listed inside the room. So if you have other Google Home devices like a Chromecast or a Google Home Mini, those type of devices are all gonna show up now within your rooms. So super cool, really easy to do, awesome to impress your friends when you just ask Google to turn on the lights for you. In our case, we have an Insteon thermostat as well. So you can see at the top of the app, it shows up there and will tell us the temperature too. Super convenient if you wanna make temperature adjustments from any room within your house. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below if you wanna see more videos like this one on how to make your home smart. And if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. And until next time, take it easy out there. Hey Google, turn off the bar lights. You got it, turning three lights off.